Hey there, everybody, and thank you so much for watching our stream here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree. We wanted to jump on to tell you about a story we're reporting about right now that's gaining some traction on our website. So earlier this afternoon, we're just going to kind of spell out what happened. Earlier this afternoon, we had a woman send us some pictures that she says her boyfriend got while he was working in a neighborhood in Round Rock, and it showed a campaign sign of President Trump's in someone's front yard that appeared to have what looked like razors attached to the bottom of it and there you see one of the pictures right there those two little metal pieces right there and then there's another picture that shows the very same thing according to this woman her boyfriend's co-worker also spotted this sign at a different home while he was working in another location so the two places in question according to this woman are in round rock on beckwood trail and the other one is in leander at the moment, they would not share where that exactly is in Leander. We did reach out to Leander police to see if they have received any kind of reports about razors attached to campaign signs or something like that. But uh, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office was sending a deputy to this location at Beckwood Trail in Round Rock to see if they could spot that sign with what looked like razors attached to the campaign sign. Now, at this moment, it's unclear as we take a closer look at these images right here of the signs. It's unclear why the supporters who put these in their yard did this. Um, more than likely, it's because they wanted to prevent someone from taking or stealing their signs. We have seen some reports of campaign sign theft throughout our area. So, for instance, in Round Rock, they told us they've had three reports of campaign sign thefts within the last two weeks, and the police told us that one was a sign that showed support for President Trump. Another one that was stolen was showing support for Joe Biden, the Democratic challenger. And then the third instance was an unspecified sign. So someone just contacted the police and said that a sign had been taken, didn't say a specific candidate or cause or anything like that at this time. So that was in Round Rock. We also checked with the Williamson County Sheriff's Office and deputies told us that they have investigated five campaign sign thefts since July. So this is within this few months period, only five reports of campaign sign thefts. Now, people may have experienced these kinds of things, but may, may have not have called law enforcement to get them involved with it. So that may not paint the most accurate picture. I've seen reports on social media uh, from people sending in their thoughts about what's happening in their neighborhoods, and they may not have reported those to law enforcement. However, there are some that are under investigation and have been reported to different law enforcement agencies. Again, if you are just joining us, I'm Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live studio. Um, a woman had shared photos earlier today that she says her boyfriend spotted campaign signs in Round Rock at a home that he was working nearby that had um, razors attached to it. And this sign right here and another one in Leander that looks just like it, um, says Veterans for Trump 2020. Um, in the small print there on the sign at the very bottom, it says that those were provided by the Williamson County Republican Party. So they are official signs there. And uh, it, it's, you know, we can only speculate why those razors might be attached at this point, but it's likely to prevent theft. Uh, as I was just detailing a few moments ago, we have seen some uh, campaign sign thefts reported to law enforcement agencies Throughout our area, we did really check and concentrate on Williamson County because that's where these two signs that you're seeing video of right now were located earlier today. And if you are watching us on Facebook right now, let us know, what are you seeing in your neighborhood? Are you seeing people taking campaign signs? Are you taking any kind of precautions to make sure that that doesn't happen? Are you, you know, concentrating your security system, your camera set up at your house to look out and onto your front yard as you're trying to show your uh, political affiliation and your support for certain candidates. Let us know. I'm going to kind of look through uh, the comment section here in just a moment. But once again, these are two signs, video that we're showing right here, of what look like razor blades attached to the bottom of these signs, and they are in support of President Trump, uh, found in a front yard at a home in Round Rock and another in Leander, reportedly. A woman sent us these after she said her boyfriend took these pictures after he was working in that neighborhood in Round Rock. So we wanted to jump on and be able to share this information out there um, and see what you all are seeing because uh, 
it's a situation. It's a heated political environment, so we have seen reports of this off and on, and we're wanting to know what you all have seen as well. Um, I'm going to leave up this image really quickly, go through some of the comments to see what people are saying if you're watching us on Facebook. Uh, so bear with us for just one more second. Yeah, I was just checking over our Facebook comments for people who are watching our stream right now, and we thank you all for engaging as much as you have. Um, did see someone who's had her uh, Joe Biden campaign sign stolen several times. Not sure exactly where that person lives at all. Uh, some other people saying that they have done protective measures to look after their signs that they put out in their yard and in support of certain candidates. And uh, one thing that uh, the viewer who reached out to us and shared these photos, she had said that what she worried about were the children in the neighborhood potentially, you know, going to grab a sign or playing in the front yard and then maybe messing with a sign and getting hurt or something like that. There have been no reports of that at this point, but that was her main concern and why she was sharing us, uh, sharing with us those images. But you can see right here that what appear to be razor blades attached to the bottom of those Trump campaign signs at two different homes in Williamson County. What we know is that the sheriff's office is sending out a deputy to look out and see if he could potentially investigate this on uh, Beckwood Trail in Round Rock, the other location in Leander. The people who reached out to us would not share the exact location, uh, but we do know a deputy is checking out that location in Round Rock, so we wanted to share this information and this reporting that we've gotten today. Uh, you can find more details over on our website, kxan.com, and on the KXAN News app on your smartphone, so please download that if you have not done so already. Once again, I am Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live studio. Thank you all for watching our stream for as long as you have. Again, more details are over on our website. We'll direct you there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you back here another time. Please, everyone, stay safe and stay healthy.